Okay, this, this is a part of a regional study to find out what uh, commercial varieties with different sources of SCN resistance uh, can behave in an environment that uh, is not um, the best environment for uh, soybean growth. One thing we did not expect uh, is presence of SDS in this plot because we had no idea. All we knew uh, SCN was present and uh, to our surprise uh, SDS showed up with um, uh, symptoms and any varieties that had uh, SCN resistance in this field uh, do not show symptoms of SDS, which is a good indication of correlation between SCN and uh, Sand S syndrome. Uh, that's a, a Peking um, variety and this one is Cystex and very little SCN and SDS um, symptoms. But this one is 8878 and the one over is a susceptible variety and they both show SDS uh, symptoms. You got to remember 97% of the varieties that we have in the market currently have the same source of resistance, which is PI88788. And we have planted this variety for many, many years, almost uh, more than 30, 30 years. And that resistance is breaking down. And this plot right here is showing that difference between these sorts of resistance.